Do you depend on other people to make your anxiety go down? We're going to talk how to empower yourself. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and I make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And I want to talk to you about how to get your power back. So before I get started, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified because I make new videos every Thursday and you don't want to miss those. Okay, let's talk about your power. So a lot of times we don't realize that when we depend on other people to help us get through our anxiety, long term we are not empowering ourselves. So let me explain that. How often do we need someone else to come with us because we're anxious? How many times do we need someone to tell us we're okay so that we can feel better? How often do we depend on another person, a parent, a friend, a partner, somebody close to us to make sure that our anxiety is in check? I was guilty of that. My entire childhood, I depended on other people around me to make me feel less anxious. If I was to take a shower, I always had to have my little sister sit in the bathroom with me because I was afraid, you know, I might get killed in the shower. And so I was very anxious and the only way I could take a shower was if she sat on the toilet and entertained me. And then I felt safe. How many of you depend on other people to do things? Maybe not that extreme. I also, with my social anxiety, I needed to go with other people wherever I was. So I could go to that new group or that new club or that new party as long as you came with me. Do you wanna come with me? Come on, it'll be fun, right? Could not go on my own. And this, this led into my adulthood. And so I was dependent on my husband. I needed him to come with me. If you can come with me to that party or you wanna to go to the grocery store, then I felt good as long as I had someone to support me. Now that may be different for you, but in what ways do you depend on other people? Do you depend on other people to calm you when you're having a panic attack? Do you depend on other people to go with you in awkward social situations? Do you depend on other people to go with you when it's dark or scary or you feel alone? Do you depend on other people to tell you that it's okay? It's okay to eat that. It's okay to do that. It's okay to say that. It's okay to be that. Now there's nothing wrong with depending on other people. In fact, it's part of human nature and it's a beautiful thing that we have people in our lives that can support us and wanna support us. So there's nothing wrong with that. But you always want to be moving towards helping yourself. You always wanna be moving towards building up your own skills and your own abilities so that you don't have to depend on other people. That will help because in the long term, you're gonna feel like, I got this. I don't need to see if you're available or if you can tell me if I'm okay. I need to get in touch with you because otherwise I'm feeling panicky. No, I've got this because I take care of myself, because I can depend on myself, because I am empowered to take care and love myself. There's so much goodness that comes with being able to have our own skills, have our own ability to calm ourselves down and to do things that are scary and face um, difficult situations. Now that doesn't happen overnight. It takes one small step at a time. So you may not be ready for that, but you just wanna have that mindset that says to yourself, could I go by myself? Or could they come with me, but could they just maybe stay in the door? They don't have to come all the way into my room. Or could they maybe go with me to that event, but maybe then I go and I do a couple of things on my own while I'm there. Or if I'm having a panic attack, are there maybe my, my, my person, whoever that may be, sits next to me, but then I do my own coping mechanisms. You just wanna ask yourself, what one small step can I take that is independent? Independent means it's separate from somebody else. I can do this on my own. Because when you are independent, and the ultimate goal is for you to be able to do things solely on your own, then you won't become anxious when that person's not around. And that can become a secondary problem where we become dependent on somebody. And if they're not there, we get panicky because they're our go-to support. They're our calm. They're our like SOS people. 
And it's okay to have people that are in our left pocket that are there when we need them, but we want to feel like the number one person that is there is ourselves. So I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do, and I hope you get your power one small step at a time. And I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.